Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Abraha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. So I want to go into a lesson, and I'm probably going to entitle this, All the Prophecies Will Be Fulfilled Soon, okay? And, you know, we on our watch, man, okay? So we can see that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is getting ready to fulfill all his prophecies okay and you just had a major event uh take place okay which uh you know russia has formally declared the united states as an enemy of the state okay so we're moving closer to world war three all right which we understand what the end result of world war three is going to be it's going to be the complete and utter destruction of america all right so the Russians declaring this, we're moving closer to that point. All right. No longer is Russia just looking at America like somebody that's, you know, trying to get in the way of, you know, their interests. No, they have declared them as the enemy publicly. OK, so we're that much closer to this thing popping off. All right. Now, we know and understand that, you know, the Haragma has to be uh, instituted first before this war breaks out. Nevertheless, tensions are rising. OK, and I got this article here. All right, that I want to go into, which this is from uh, TRTWorld.com. And this came out two days ago. And the title reads, Russia formally declares the U.S. as enemy. What's next? Okay, well, we know what's next. You know, eventually, total war, okay, is going to break out and America going to be destroyed. All right. But let's see what these uh, experts have to say. OK, it says experts tell TRT World Russia's game plan is to keep nudging NATO's European states into believing that Washington is using them as mere tools of expansion rather than true allies, which this is another part of prophecy. OK, because the scriptures tell us that the ten horns, they're going to turn on the whore. All right. And they're going to shoot their nuclear arsenal as well. OK, see, in the minds of these people out here, this is far fetched. OK, this 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 can't happen. OK, but when you actually look at, you know, how these different European nations feel about America, you can see that sentiment is there. All right. And Russia don't have to nudge <laughs> these uh, European nations into believing that. OK, they're going to see it for themselves. And really, how about show me how shy is going to work on their minds and have them turn against America and side with Russia. OK. So it says, after months of uh, rising tensions over Ukraine between Russia and the U.S., bilateral relations have hit a new low as the Kremlin spokesperson defined the U.S. as an enemy. OK. It says, press secretary to uh, President Slaki, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Dmitry uh, Peskov, reportedly said, we are now an enemy country for them just as they are for us. OK, during a press briefing on Tuesday, the Kremlin had previously referred to the U.S. and Western nations supporting Ukraine as unfriendly states or opponents due to high tensions over Ukraine's use of American supplied weapons on Russian territory. However, according to Agent Sedvo, an independent Russian investigative site, this is the first time. They have publicly labeled the U.S. as an enemy state. OK, so this is unprecedented, man. All right. And the reason why this is such a big deal is because we understand who Russia is in biblical prophecy. OK, the Russians are known as the Medes, which how about Shimmy Shai said he going to bring the Medes against Babylon. OK, so we getting closer and closer to this thing popping off, man. Real quick. Let me bring this out. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And that's what we're doing. We're measuring the times. OK, we're seeing what's going on in the world. OK, we're watching the news and we are comparing it to the prophecies that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has given us. OK. It says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we understand that this deal is right around the corner. Okay. The most high 
stirring up the meats, stirring up the Russians is a huge sign of biblical prophecy being fulfilled, man. All right. So we know that this deal is right around the corner. OK, which if tensions between the United States and Russia is ramping up, if Russia is calling America an enemy, we know that the Haragma is right around the corner because that has to be fulfilled first before World War Three pops off. OK. It says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, which that word manifest, when you look it up, it means to be made apparent. OK, and the uh, the Russians saying this, coming out with this publicly. OK, it's apparent that World War Three is getting ready to pop off. OK, it's apparent. They ain't saying it for no reason, man. OK, now the, the wishes of these people down here on the earth, they hope that cooler heads will prevail, that all out war doesn't, you know, uh, break loose between the United States and Russia. But it's going to happen. OK, and when it does happen, when they the, the troops actually engage in physical combat, they're going to hope that this doesn't end in a nuclear holocaust. But guess what? It is going to end in a nuclear holocaust. Does say if you how about Shimmy, how was shot? All right. So this is uh, back in the article. It says speaking to TRT World, experts said there's uh, actually nothing new here because publicly stated or not, the United States has long been considered by Russia as its enemy. OK, it says uh, proxy wars likely to continue. All right. Which this is a sub headline here. OK, it says Matthew uh, Berza, former U.S. diplomat and the United States ambassador to uh, Azerbaijan, said, I have no concerns regarding the recent statement because Russia's national security and military doctrines, both in 2014 and 2022, identified the United States as Russia's primary foe or enemy. OK, the ultimate goal is to sow divisions within the NATO alliance, pulling its members away from each other and particularly from the United States. He had to see this. This is the mind of Esau. OK, he doesn't believe that this is, is significant. OK, well, this has always happened. Well, back in 2014, Russia was saying this. So this, this is this is not a big deal. OK, but see what Esau does not understand is the prophecies of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, he does not understand that the Most High said that he was going to use the Russians to destroy you. OK, so this, this is a very big deal, man. And you Edomites, OK, and all you inhabitants of Babylon that do not trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you should be afraid, man. OK, because this is one step closer to your utter destruction. This is one step closer to you being destroyed by thermal nuclear fire. OK. But you'll probably listen to this guy to make yourself feel better. Yeah, war's not going to break out. Oh, those those Israelites, they don't know what they're talking about. OK, that that Bible is a lie. All right. Hey, hey, tell yourself whatever you want to, man. OK, but America will be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. OK, and the main country that's going to be responsible for shooting missiles on America is Russia. OK. It said the ultimate goal is to sow division within the NATO alliance, pulling its members away from each other. And particularly from the United States, which Russia don't have to do that. Okay, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is gonna do that. It's already written that the ten horns are gonna turn on you. Okay, because it's gonna be exposed that America is, you know, uh, working in its own interest. They don't care what those European uh, countries want. All right, you've already had sentiment of you know NATO breaking away from each other. The president of France, Macron, he has called for an EU army. OK, other European nations have called for an EU army. They said they don't need NATO no more. OK, because they know that America pretty much is controlling them. Which just like the vision that John seen, he's seen the whore riding on the beast. OK, which means the whore is in control of the beast. All right. Just like if you would ride a horse, you in control of that horse. You tell the horse where to go. All right. You tell it when to go, when to stop. OK. Which Al Bashim Yahweh Shai set it up like that just so they could turn on America and destroy it. All right. It says Bryce Cup believes 
uh, that Russia's aim is to intimidate European NATO members into believing that the United States is reckless, recklessly dragging them into a conflict with Russia, which they are. <laughs> OK, and you, you, you are on the front door of Russia. All right. When Russia attacks NATO, they're not going to go for America first. They're going to go after its European allies. All right. You actually share a border with Russia. You on the same continent as Russia. OK, the capital of Russia is on the European continent. OK, so when they make a move, OK, to attack somebody, it's going to be you European nations first. OK. And America might just leave them out there, you know. It says Ali uh, Gokse from uh, Gazian Tep University, on the other hand, perceives the U.S. infiltration attempts into Russia's mainland, often utilizing NATO, are perceived as a threat by Russia, which it, it, they are. OK, when NATO was first, uh, you know, created, they said that they will not, uh, you know, make any ex-Soviet uh, members uh, members of NATO, which they they reneged on that agreement. OK. And then they trying to, uh, you know, bring Ukraine <laughs> into uh, the NATO alliance. All right. Which that just shows that they're against Russia. They want to do something to Russia. All right. It says, despite being established as a defense organization, NATO has become a tool for the expansionist policies of the U.S., posing a threat to non-NATO countries are those opposed to the U.S., such as Russia and China, and a NATO will be used for that, okay? Because the United States, they're also going to get involved uh, in a war with China, okay? More than likely, it's going to be over Taiwan, and they're going to, you know, expect NATO to help them. All right, and it's gonna get to the point where the European nations they're gonna say the hell with you, man. We ain't we ain't we ain't rocking with you like that. Okay, you involved in too many wars. We 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 trying to have peace agreements with these other nations, establish trade, and you messing it up. Let's not forget, okay, that the United States reneged on the P5 plus one deal with Iran. Okay, which that was years in the making. Okay, and these different European nations they were ready to start trading. With Iran, they already had agreements. They had deals on the table, man. Money was already exchanged, and the United States reneged on that in their own interests. Okay? They said the hell with what those European uh, nations want. You think the Europeans forgot about that? Okay? Oh, oh, let's not forget the blowing up of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Okay? What's the United States is responsible for, man? You, you, you think they forgot about that? Okay? It says, however, he suggests that the United States and Russia will never directly engage in armed conflict with their own forces, which this is a this is a lie. All right. Or this person is just misinformed. OK, they don't know the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. What's the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is that the United States and Russia will lock horns in a physical battle. OK, their armies will, you know, engage in war, man. It ain't going to be no proxy war. They ain't going to fund the Ukrainian army to go up against Russia. OK, and Russia ain't going to, you know, uh, fund the rebels to fight against the, the uh, you know, the government of Ukraine. No, the, the, the Russians and the, the United States will actually engage in war. OK, they're going to declare war on each other. All right. And that war. It's going to escalate quickly into a nuclear war, which is going to end in the complete and utter destruction of America. All right. It says historically, the U.S. has always used proxy forces against Russia. Well, that was then. OK. It says while Russia has countered by supporting groups fighting against U.S. imperialism, this reliance of proxy forces will likely continue. No, it's not. It's not going to continue. OK, the armies of the United States and the armies of Russia will engage in war. OK, they ain't going to use proxies. It says even though NATO is utilized, uh, Goksi believes there will always be a force to wage war and adds considering that the U.S. aims to weaken Russia and China, a prolonged conflict could be expected to be a war of attrition. All right. Which we're going to leave it at that. OK, which this individual 
you know, uh, that wrote this article, okay, and the people that he was talking to, they don't know what the hell is going on. The only ones that truly know what's going on are the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, as the scripture states, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. These people don't have no clue as to what's going on. Okay, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not dealing with them. Okay, and to bring the prophecy to pass of the day of the Lord coming upon these people as a thief in the night. They ain't supposed to know. Okay, but you have been warned by the prophets, okay, as to what's coming down the pipeline. And when this deal goes down, you're gonna remember the words of the prophets, all right? This is Isaiah 13 and 16. It says, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished, which that's gonna happen here in Babylon, all right? It says, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which the Medes are the Russians. Okay, and how about Shimei Shai is stirring up the Medes against you Babylonians? Okay, that's why this is such a, a significant deal, man. Okay, see these people they trying to write it off. Oh, just no big deal. Oh, we've been an enemy to Russia. Okay, but you how about Shimei Shai is stirring this up in the Russians? Okay, it says, "Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them." which shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. See, and when this war kicks off, okay, you're gonna try to, you know, come to some kind of agreement with the Russians, but they don't wanna make no agreements with you, okay? They already warning you that, look, man, if you keep pushing us, hey, we, we, gonna, we gonna use nuclear uh, uh, weapons against you, okay? Putin has stated that multiple times, that whatever conflict the United States uh, enters into with Russia is gonna quickly escalate into a nuclear war. OK, and see when this deal actually happens, the United States is going to try to pay him off, you know, to try to uh, stop the war. Or look, we will give they don't want your money. OK, first of all, they're they are already pivoting away from the dollar. OK, so you can see how the prophecies are going to unfold, man. All right. America's done. It says we shall not regard it silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. Their bows is talking about their nuclear weapons. Okay? They're going to destroy all you people here in America, man. Okay? It says their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Yeah, they don't care that it's kids here, man. <laughs> That's not going to stop them from pushing the button. Okay? And shooting uh, their nuclear arsenal on America. They don't care about the kids here, man. All right? Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. They see the videos from over here, man. They see what's taking place. They see there's kids here, you know, or there's people that did. Well, they just had graduations, you know, for elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools. You've seen the young children that got their whole life ahead of them. All right. They seen these videos, man. They don't they don't give a fuck about them kids. OK, <laughs> they gonna shoot their missiles, man. <laughs> it says in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. OK, the top kingdom on the face of the earth. All right. The top kingdom in history. OK, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, these excellency shall be as when the most high overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So the same way Sodom and Gomorrah went out which was with thermal nuclear fire, that's the same way America's gonna go out, okay? And it's no coincidence that America participates in the same things that uh, Sodom and Gomorrah participated in, okay? Well, it's June, all right? <laughs> Inside joke, but it's June, man, which June is, is Pride Month, okay? The month where they celebrate Sodomites, okay? So just the mere fact that this is taking place here in America, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to destroy America in the same manner that uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. All right. It says it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. These different unclean beasts are going to dwell here. Okay. It says, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and the house shall be full of doleful creatures. And owls shall dwell there and satires shall dance there. 
and the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces and her time is near to come. Okay, so we're right around a corner from this thing happening, man. We right around a corner from America being destroyed. Okay, it says, and her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged. Yeah, how about Shimei Awashai ain't prolonging this no more, man. He's making moves now. Okay, he's stirring up the means to come against the United States, to come against Babylon. All right, America is now publicly an enemy to Russia. All right, and Russia got a huge nuclear arsenal. All right, and they're going to use it against you, you Babylonians. All right. This is Jeremiah 51 and 24. It says, And I will render unto Babylon, America, and to all the inhabitants of Chaldee, all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai. So another reason why this place is going to be destroyed is because of what you did to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. Okay? Yahweh Shemi Shai going to punish you for what you did to his people. Okay, it says, Behold, I am against the old destroying mountain, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. Okay, how, how is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai going to burn you with those thermonuclear missiles? All right, which Russia just so happens to have a huge arsenal of those things. And Russia has just declared the United States as an enemy. Okay. It says, and they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai. Yeah, this place ain't gonna be built back up. There ain't gonna be no rubble, okay, to rebuild from. All right? Just like, you know, in past disasters, okay, there's rubble left over, the footprint of the house is still there, so you, you can still build on that thing, okay? You replace the house, replace the structure that was there, Ain't nothing going to be here, okay? Everything is going to be vaporized by the intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, okay? It says, set up a standard in the land, blow the trumpet among the nations, prepare the nations against her, call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat, Minai, and Ashkenaz, appoint a captain against her, cause the horses to come up as the rough caterpillars, Prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes. There goes the Russians again, which the Russians are going to spearhead this campaign against America. Okay. Along with all their allies. Okay. You're going to have the Chinese. They're going to be on board. The Iranians, the Ishmaelites, they're going to be on board. And you already got that conflict going on in the land of Israel. All right. And now Israel, they, they going after the rest of them Ishmaelites. They getting ready to attack uh, Lebanon and go after Hamas. Our, our Hezbollah, Salakia, okay, which Hezbollah is based in uh, Lebanon, all right, which eventually the Iranians are going to step in, okay, which once Iran steps in, then the United States is going to step in, then the Russians is going to step in, and all our hell going to break loose, man, okay, this deal is about to go down, all according to the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, all right. It says, prepare against her the nations with the kings of the Medes, the captains thereof, and all the rulers thereof, and all the land of his dominion. Okay? So all the, the, the entire state of Russia is going to go to war with America. Okay? It says, and the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon, America, a desolation, a desert. Okay, to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. All you people going to die here, man. You're going to get burned up. Okay, you all going to experience what it feels like to get burned by a nuclear bomb, man. A thermonuclear bomb. Okay, it says the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might hath failed. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. One post shall run to meet another and one messenger to meet another to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken at one end and that the passages are stopped and the reeds they have burned with fire and the men of war are frightened. And hey, man, when those missiles get shot off, the men of war, they're going to lose it. 
Okay, and they showed you that in this movie uh, the day after. Okay, there was a scene where there was a group of, you know, military personnel. They were supposed to go down. Well, they were supposed to protect the bunker. Okay, there was people down there already, and they was cursing each other out, you know. And eventually, they, they abandoned their posts. Okay, they said, the hell with it. We ain't about to die, you know. There's no way for you to, to escape a nuclear missile, man. So once they get that warning that the nuclear uh, missiles are headed over here, they're going to lose it. All right. It says, for thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai of hosts, the power of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her. It's time for this place to get beat. Okay. It is time to thresh her yet a little while in the time of the harvest shall come. And we're in that time. Okay. We're in the time of the harvest, man. We're in the time where Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is going to execute all his words that he has uh, pronounced against Babylon, against America, okay, against you Edomites, and against you other nations, all right? This will be the last scripture we could close it out on this, okay, because this is going to happen as well, all right? Which, these things are far-fetched in the minds of these people down here, okay? But we know, according to the scriptures, that these things are actually going to happen, okay? Now, they mentioned that, uh, you know, oh, this is just a tactic by Russia to try to get NATO to uh, turn on America. And that's never going to happen. Well, it is going to happen according to the Bible. All right. The NATO. OK, specifically those European nations. OK, the E, the EU. All right. Which they were formerly known as the EEC before they changed their name to the EU in 1992. Those nations specifically are going to turn on America. OK. It says, uh, Revelation 17 and 12, and the 10 horns which thou sawest are 10 kings, which I just told you who those 10 kings are, okay? The former EEC nations, all right, which changed their name in 1992 to the EU. Those 10 nations make up the EU, or so like they make up the 10 horns, okay? Which you can merge uh, Ireland and, and England, all right? And you can merge uh, Portugal and, and Spain. Those that, That's one nation anyway. Okay, historically. Okay, they were separated more recently. All right. It says, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. The beast is talking about NATO. Okay. And all these nations are in NATO and they use that to flex their muscle down here on the earth. OK, it says these have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the lamb. The lamb is your shot. OK, and there's no coincidence that these different nations are creating space forces as well. OK, America has one. France is getting to ready to uh, establish one if they haven't established one already. OK, these other European nations have been talking about establishing space forces as well. OK, what do they need a space force for so they can fulfill the prophecies of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah? OK, so they can make war with the lamb when he comes back. It says these shall make war with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of lords and king of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. We're just talking about the elect. OK, it says, and he saith unto me. The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, the whore is talking about America, okay? The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, because America is a melting pot. Every nation under the sun is here in America, okay? Even tribes and people you ain't never heard about, they here in Babylon, okay? It says, in the ten horns which thou sawest, okay, those different European nations, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the horse. They're going to turn on America. All right. Something's going to happen where they're going to they forsake that alliance, that, that uh, uh, you know, treaty that they have with America, man, which is already happening. OK. The chancellor of Germany has stated in the, in the past. OK. She made this statement a couple years ago that she does not see the United States as a friend anymore. They're a rival. OK, so they've been demoted. All right. And then now you got the uh, Russia declaring uh, America an enemy of the state. All right. 
And these European nations, they don't look at America the same because they see how you moving. All right, the destruction of the, the uh, you know, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, which was used, are going to be used to provide natural gas to the, the all of Western Europe. All right, America destroyed that for their own interests. They wanted these European nations to buy gas from them. Okay, Trump tried to push that 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 BS, and they wasn't going for it, man. Buy natural gas from you at a higher price than if we get it from the Russians. Okay, they weren't going for that, man. So they destroyed the pipeline. Now they gotta rely on gas from America. Okay, it said these shall hate the whore. And shall make her desolate and naked And shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire So these different European nations They're going to shoot their nuclear arsenal on America as well They're going to help destroy this place, man Okay, which nobody is expecting that to happen They can see, okay, yeah, Russia I, I can see that happening You know, Russia, they, if America gets in a war with them I can see them shooting their nuclear arsenal But the Europeans, no, that'll never happen Well, it's going to happen according to the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah All right Hey, the deal that's getting ready to go down, man, you people are going to know and understand without a shadow of a doubt that Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai ruleth in the kingdom of men. Whatever the Most High wants to happen, that's what's going to happen, man. It don't matter what you want or, which, or how you feel about a situation, okay? Whatever the Most High wants, that's what's going to take place, okay? And the Most High is setting this up to show you people exactly that, man. You, don't, you would never think in a million years that these European nations would turn on America. Their relationship is just so close. Well, guess what? Yahweh about Shimmy Howard Shai is going to destroy that relationship that they got and make them enemies. And they're going to help destroy this place. All right. And the Most High said this thousands of years before it. It's going to happen. OK. This was part of the vision that John seen on the Isle of Patmos. He's seen the European nations turning on America and destroying them with nuclear missiles, man. Okay, and it's going to happen exactly how Yahweh Shimmy Yahweh Shai revealed to his servant John. All right. It says, For the Most High have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. So the only reason why NATO was created was for the purposes of the Heavenly Father. Okay. The Most High created this alliance, allowed this alliance to be created. So that they can turn on America and help destroy it, man. <laughs> All right. That's why when you read the 19th chapter of Revelation, the Most High is described as being omnipotent. Okay. Which that word omnipotent, when you look it up, it means, you know, basically all powerful. Okay. Are he who holds sway over all things. That's the kind of power that the Heavenly Father has. You people don't know that, man. Okay. You don't know the kind of power that the Heavenly Father has. So the Most High is going to show you his power by fulfilling his prophecies. Okay. It says, for the Most High has put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. And that's what it's all about. Okay. The words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai being fulfilled. All right. It says, and the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which is America. Okay, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. All right, so I just want to go into that. Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, Bashimi Yahweh Hakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.